All right. Should be live here. Uh, getting the uh, chat worked up for a minute, but I first I forgot that uh, Twitch had reset our stream keys or whatever, so I needed to, to fix that. Um, but I think we're good now. All right, so yay, welcome. We're playing some uh, some Dragons of Tarkir draft here, and a couple of good cards. I see there's uh, Ultimate Price here and also Erish and Foremost, but I'm going to go for the Foremost. I think it just looks like a, a really nice beatdown card. And even though I might regret that, well, we'll see. So let's see what's next. Uh, Coat with Venom, I like that one. Hopefully this thing will get roughly correct. And additionally, hopefully you can hear us. Yeah, we barely we barely got in there. I had I was changing the stream key thing around, and then Graham texted me like, "Dude, get in!" I'm like, "Oh crap!" <laughs> but we made it. We are safe. And uh, I think I want to take. Let's see here. What is this one? Herd Chaser Dragon. That's a trample one. That one stinks. White cards. Ugh. Oh yeah, Enduring Victory. I like that one. Not a great removal spell, but a removal spell nonetheless, and it's also in our color, so I'm going to take Enduring Victory and see if we can make that thing work. Oh no, there's a Marsh Hulk. I'm not going to be taking that. Sight Beyond Sight looks really fun. That's a card that I haven't had, actually had a chance to play with, but... <laughs> no, we are not Marsh Hulk tribaling. We might be going tribal, though, with uh, with warriors. There's a chance of that. <clears throat> but some of the cards I really like out of the pack, I really like uh, Palace Familiar. It's really impressed me so far uh, as we've gone into the format, uh, though I have played it mainly in blue-black, so I don't know if it's quite as good here as it would be otherwise. Um, another one I like is Sight Beyond Sight, though. It's pretty darn dirtily four mana doesn't affect the board sorcery speed it's a tough sell but when you resolve it you get to draw a lot of cards it kind of goes off i'm gonna take the familiar here though get the chat thing fixed in a minute good but replaceable yeah that could be Great Teacher's Decree is broken. Hmm. It's bold. Okay, there's some interesting stuff here. Um, the blue card, Negate, is... I think it's actually main deckable in the format, but it's certainly not exciting. The white cards look pretty decent. Um, Strong Arm Monk is 3-3 three, three, three for a 5-5, five, five, but it gives... Uh, your whole team prowess, basically, which that could be quite powerful. Uh, Dromica Warrior looks decent, too. I'm just going to take this uh, Strong Arm Monk, though. Silumgar or Bust. Ooh, Anticipate. I like that one. What What is our uh, white cards, though? Echoes of the Kin Tree. Oh, that's that one that lets you kind of make a bolster engine. <laughs> um, I really like Ojitai Interceptor though I think that's a sweet card I, I want to take Anticipate just because I think it's a cool card but I'm going to take the Interceptor this time I think it's a good uh, aggressive card and it does a pretty darn good job of uh, getting your opponent dead and I'm definitely interested in that um, what is this thing? oh that's a 2-3 Faithful's kind of whatever. Student of Ojutai. I don't hate that card, actually. I'm going to take that one. I don't know. It's okay. I should probably tweet that I'm live, huh? That's how this whole Twitch thing works. You're supposed to let people know when you use it. Yeah. We'll do that. They, uh, Twitch had some type of breach 
in their security. And uh, they had to reset all the, they use this special key, this, this sort of code that you use uh, to stream and they had to re reset all of those. Another Marsh Hulk, uh, that thing, no. Sandstorm Charger, what do you do? You're solid. Updraft Elemental looks solid too. One four flyer for three. Is it better than this guy? Mm, yeah, probably about on par, I'll take the Elemental. Oh, that looks weird. Looks like somebody spilled coffee on a magic card or something. Um, uncommon dragon, you say. Uh, ancient carp, dutiful attendant, icebreakers. This guy's actually kind of good. I think I'm going to take this uh, Dromica Dune Caster. Maybe this. Are we really going to get a dragon? We're passing one here. Card doesn't seem that good unless you got a dragon. I'll take this Dune Caster, I guess. Maybe one of these is okay. The The cost to tap something down is ugh, pretty pretty pricey. Um, so I'm not super stoked on that guy, but... Hey, look, another one. What time is it? 107? Herald of Dromica. Are you good? Are you better than the, than the warrior? Just the... Dromica Warrior? Probably not, right? It looks like it looks like it's better because it has all this text, but I think 3-1's probably just going to do more work in, in a deck that's trying to beat down anyway. Also trades better, and uh, sometimes that's what, you need, that's what you need to do on the ground. I'll take this Ancient Carp. Ugh. Draft up, draft elemental over glacial stalker. Yeah, I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere around that. I can't. <clears throat> I'm hoping to be a flying deck here. Yeah, as I say that, here's another updraft elemental. I mean, it's not a great card. Let's be honest. Steez though. So I want to figure out where this deck goes. More flyers, I suppose. Oh, yeah, Lee, you definitely want to check out this week's sign-off. There is little to no doubt about that <laughs> yeah, on Constructed. Actually, the, the funny, both both sign-offs this week for LR and CR were, were really great. I thoroughly enjoyed both. Luis, uh, for his sign-off, listed his top four worst draft picks of all time, complete with details on why they were bad. So I, I definitely enjoyed that. And also it was funny hearing them from Luis because I think I've heard three of the four uh, from Ben Stark, who <laughs> takes great joy in telling the stories of, uh, of Luis's bad draft picks. So, yeah, we got a lot of value there. And Ephra went off. Uh, he just <laughs> he just went crazy. Uh, that, was a, that was an all-timer, that one. Oh, should I grab Elmer? He's hanging out right here. If you guys want. Let's see if we can get him up here. Oh. Oh, we opened a dragon, but it's not a great one. This is that seven drop that kind of, when it dies, you can put it back on your top of your library. Which is... Uh, well, it's a tough one because th th that isn't very good. Uh, seven for a six six flying is decent. I mean, look, that's not the worst, but it's not great, and it uh, that ability isn't quite as good as you'd hope it would be. Um, we opened two of these megamorph dragons, neither in our current colors, so that sucks. Uh, Fate forgotten, no, an artful maneuver. That just might be what we're looking for here. Otherwise, I could take like a Monastery Lore Master, which can help get me back good spells later, though I feel a little bit better about that if I had any. <laughs> I don't have any good spells currently. 
Now I'll take this artful maneuver. And we've got we've got this guy. So we're gonna need some combat tricks because that's how you can really kind of combo finish people out. And uh, anything with rebound gets better too. Iron Shaman. Ooh. Oh yeah. On color dragon. I'm gonna take that guy. I hope this Ojitai's Breath comes back. I think that would be pretty good in our deck too. Silk Wrap, definitely playable. Gurmog Drowner, thumbs up, like that one. Uh, Iron Shaman's good though, um, but yeah, not for us. We're gonna take this Cunning Breeze Dancer. Yeah, I don't mind that Megamorph guy, Matt Matthew. He's uh, I played him in one of the drafts I did. Real clunky, but fine. You know, like I would say, like a classic sort of CC plus type card. Like at no point was I blown away, but it also did its job. So I, it's hard to argue with that. Who are we? Who are we sitting next to anyway? What is this nonsense? There you go. There we go. All right. So this is us up here. And right now we're passing to Watsy Guy, then Frank, when it rains at Frank Lepore's, Julian, whoever this rando is, Humph. that would be a Graham, and then Mr. Scotty Max. So we're passing to Scotty on the other packs here. Um, what do we get here? Avon Tactician, that card's solid. Mystic Meditation, draw three, and then be sad. Here's a big fat Elmer. I'd love to play a card like that, but that ship has sailed. So I think we want this tactician though. I'm starting to get a little concerned. Like we can cut this thing, but meh, you know, I, I'm not really hot on too many five drops. And, uh, you know, I think this Avon tactician is fine. I really do. I think it's okay, but it's just not, it doesn't have that big punch, you know, who's Matthew. Yeah, no clue. Yeah, the pack was, uh, these packs have kind of been a little bleh, to be honest. <laughs> uh, this is great. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> I got to get the chat up over here, by the way. What is, okay, well, somebody's chatting here, and then I do not mind at all. I do not mind at all. All right, here's our next pack, Assault Formation. Ooh, Silumgar Sorcerer. Yeah. You guys seen this guy? Flash, Flying, and it has Exploit. You can exploit a creature and counter a creature spell. That's sweet. I'm scooping that guy up. I think I would take him just at face value anyway. And then the Exploit is like very nice gravy. Uh, this guy gets a flying as long as he's got a counter, right? Yeah. Hmm. Roast. Would love to splash for a roast, but uh, but no. We're going to take the Light Walker here. Um, see what that thing can do. Ooh, here's some blue cards. What does this one do? Tar oh, yeah, nothing. So we got a, we've got a great Teacher's Decree, and this might be the place to pick one up here. Uh, it is. I disagree with the comment earlier that it's broken or whatever but it does seem pretty good and we, we've got a lot of creatures and you know like I, I said earlier we've got the strong arm monk which it works re, you know rebound spells work really well with what does this guy do again oh yeah that's pretty sweet make him an eight power creature otherwise we're going to take this bell troll toll dragon which i think is also a totally reasonable pickup here i don't actually know which one is better maybe it's just the dragon it, it's pretty powerful i'm going to go for the decree here uh just because i feel like my deck right now has a little bit of the keyword crappy thing going on where it's, it's, I've got a lot of kind of mediocre, you know, yeah, whatever, whatever this guy does. And, you know, just, oh, I have this going on too. Yeah, maybe I'll try it. You know, this thing, just a bunch of sort of mediocre creatures. And uh, I like mass pump spells in decks that, that, you know, where you can turn your sort of crappy dudes into, into something good. This is between Loremaster and Herald. Herald, probably a little more solid, but I'm going to go with the Loremaster here. I think that we're going to have enough stuff we want to get back, and I can stand another uh, three drop here. Territorial Rock or an Encase in Ice. I think I'm just going to use a pick here on a solid sideboard card. 
Um, you know, in case an ice hits uh, um, red or green creatures, and we're not in red or green, so we have a higher chance to face that, and yeah, that seems fine. All right, well, there's another monetary, monastery lore master. Unclear if both make the cut, but we've got them. Great to decree. It's broken. I try to watch everyone at the same time, but I've made my pick and you. Oh, well, welcome then. That's great. Where did that chat box go? Here's this one. But every time I do that, that happens. So what I need to do is shrink. All right, that's being fussy. All right, Ojitai's Breath did come back, so that's great. Oh, is it because of this? Definitely worked last time. All right, well, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Um, all updraft elementals all the time. I could take a Silumgar monument. Yeah, I'll just take that. I don't know if the, the third updraft elemental is better than the, you know, random non-creature spell that maybe we splash or something. Uh, deck is solid. Maybe it's just me, but I'm a bit quiet. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that in a second, too. Uh, yeah, somebody else can try to fiddle with that thing, not me. Glint. Oh, great. Thank you for that helpful reminder right in the middle of the stream there, Parallels. You're great. Okay. All right. Well, the deck looks just okay. I, I'm not really excited. Oh, hello, friend. Huh. Tassiger, what's her other choice? Sandstep, Outcast, Lotus Pathogen, Jeskai Sage. Now, this is interesting. So, we took the Silumgar Monument sort of on a flyer. Um, and we can actually activate Tassiger because we're in blue, which is kind of interesting. So we could splash for him. Um, but we have another option too, which is just to take like the Outcast or the Lotus Pathogen and just be happy with that. Um, I mean, those are solid cards in our deck. They, they add to our plan. Like Sandstep Outcast, I think is probably the best one there. You know, it works well with, with what we've got going on. It makes multiple creatures, great teachers decree. It works fine with our, you know, random pump spells and stuff like that. If we take Tassiger, we're definitely pushing hard in a direction. We're going to need to pick up at least one dual land. I mean, we don't really want to run this monument. We also are going to get something back from this pack that we're fairly happy with. Yeah, whatever. We'll take Tassiger. Get in there, buddy. Oof. Jeez, Sandstep Mastodon? It's a real one. So here's a Pyrotechnics, an even better card for us to splash, although I feel like having taken Tassiger and having not really seen a land yet, we probably can't. So I'm probably just going to take the Will of the Naga here. I'll take the Will of the Naga. I like a Whisk Away. I think the card's good. We've got plenty of creatures. We don't really need to pick up any of those. I think solid non-creature spells are sort of our number one priority, and uh, this seems like one of them. I have a Jeskai Sage as well. I wish I would have picked up one of those Drowners. Be greedy. <laughs> Tassiger has bananas or is bananas? Hmm. You'll note that the land is already gone here. Also note that this pack is kind of stinky. Um, you know, if we had real fixing, I would take Reach of Shadows and be content to splash those two cards, but we don't. And right now, Tassiger's looking like a maybe. 
the problem is what we're picking up over him is the second will of the Naga, which, you know, th that isn't huge impact either. Uh, there's a decent chance that it doesn't get played, though there's a decent chance it does as well. I don't think I want to shift in loyalties, people. So I'll, I'm going to take will of the Naga number two, and uh, we'll see. That kind of ca caps us out for that still. The audio is behind the camera. Okay, Gabby, what do I do if I set the output of my mic to be through my webcam? But I still get to use the mic I want. All right, well, we'll work on that in just a second. Huh. Well, there's my dismal backwater. I was going to take the Wandering Champion, but if we're doing it, we're doing it. Welcome to the team, buddy. May I have a banana? Now we can actually activate this thing, too. Thanks to fly. That is the land that we need. Sure. Big dumb dragon. Don't think that's going to make the cut. I could see a matchup where we wanted more big stuff, but, you know, even if these slot in, you know, slightly lower on the mana cost, like, I feel like our curve's already pretty high, so we don't need to go too crazy. By the way, I'm using OBS to stream this thing, so I don't know if that changes anything. Webcam. Mic properties. Yeah, it just wants to know which one I'm using. Yeah, okay. Um, properties, device, preset. Yeah, we're just not going to do it. Well, there's a refocus. Which isn't very good. And there's an enhanced awareness, which wouldn't be too bad to get us a little card draw going. I'm just really not happy to have another five drop. Um... But I'll take it over the refocus here, I guess. If it was pressure point, I'd probably take that. Don't think I want that. Maybe wrong. I, this is a card I want to try out. It does seem like one of those cards that, that could pull its weight in certain matchups, certain board states, but could also just be horrific in others. This one's pretty good against us, I suppose. Don't forget this guy. How many other warriors did we end up with? We got this one. You a warrior? Oh, you are. Hello. Didn't even know that. That's definitely not a warrior. Updraft elemental has to be a warrior, right? Right? No? Not a warrior? You're a wizard. You're a wizard. You're a bird. Bird soldier. Couldn't have been a bird warrior. 
Couldn't have tried a little harder in school there, buddy. Pretty disappointing. Uh, yeah, this one probably gets one of our guys. You're definitely not a warrior. You're a mere student. Jeez. These underachieving birds are driving me nuts. All right, well, we're not going off with the whole warrior thing. But we did pick up a couple of them. And plus, let, let's be honest, this card is just good on its own. No warriors needed to assemble. I would cut some uncrap elementals. Well, I'm going to assume that they don't take offense to that, though they may have. But they probably will get cut, one of them at least. All right, so this leaves us at 25 with how it sits. We may need the Silmgar Monument. We could also be responsible adults and not splash for Tassiger, but that's not happening. Not on stream. Um, the Banana Man is in. He is taking appointments. I'm glad that Ojitai's Breath came back because nothing else came back out of that other pack. That was pretty big. Um, I do think we can lose at least one updraft elemental. Remember, we've got this, this, and this all at the actual three spot. So <clears throat> our curve is actually reasonable for beatdown. We have a lot of twos and threes, and then we kind of trail off from there. And then these take over the later part of the game in an ideal sc scenario. Um, I like all of these. I really want to play the negate main. I want to try it out. It's a question that I've had, and, you know, getting ready to commentate at the Pro Tour. I need to know some of these answers early. And while well, one draft isn't going to get me there at least it'll give me an idea um, my theory is that it counters all the things that it normally would um, which is already putting it right in that borderline on playability but then I think that there's a decent amount of you know creatures that aren't creatures they're you know some you know soul summons and cards like that that you can counter as well and uh, that that can push it over into playable probably never exciting but playable at least all right, what do you guys like to cut here? Hi from Belgium. Well, hello there. See you in a week. Two wills is probably too many. That's definitely on my list, Matthew. What else do you guys want to cut? Also, let's get this mic thing fixed. I'll also just restart the stream before the games go. <clears throat> um... But you guys said it was lagging, and that is not. You'd cut Will and Updraft, Noah. Lore Master doesn't have great targets, might be cut. Yeah. Yeah, I am definitely on board for that. James, what up, dog? This looks more controllish. I'd cut Will the Naga and add that. Oh, you want the dragon. That's interesting. I wasn't really thinking of this as a controllish deck. It's got two or three cards that I would not play in a normal control deck. Mainly Great Teacher's Degree, Ojitai's Breath, and Artful Maneuver. I would still play Enduring Victory, Whisk Away, Negate. Uh, I'm definitely going to cut this Will. Um, I'm going to play this Monument. I think. Not sure how happy I am about that. Am I still streaming a Fate Reforged preview draft? No, I am not. Those dragons. If this is a real draft, you'd cut Will and Tassiger. Well, yeah. Yeah, Tassiger definitely doesn't belong in this deck, but he's in there. I mean, would you mess with this guy? Doesn't look like he's moving to me. Also holding a very threatening whip. Mm, maybe one of the lore masters. They're super clunky. Our curve is already quite good. <clears throat> so maybe it's like that. 
Maybe I even cut one more card, play 18 lands. Really want to try out this card at some point, too. You know, like in a more controlling deck just to make everything huge. Oh, seriously, Efro, I'm dreading it already. Those long plane rides are brutal. And then you have to, the way it usually works when you fly to Europe is you uh, you get, you fly like on a Tuesday, and when you get there, it's the next day, but it's in the morning. And if you uh, want to try to get jet lag knocked out of the park a ASAP, then you have to uh, basically just stay up all day. So you've been flying for 17 or 18 hours, and you get there, and it's like 10 in the morning, and you're like, what do you guys want to do today? <laughs> and then, uh, and by the time, you know, six or seven rolls around, you're just like, uh, you can't see straight, but you have to power through. Is it really worth the splash? No. No, he's definitely not. But like I said, I consulted with him about whether he wanted to be on the team or whether he wanted to sit on the bench and, and he wants to be a starter. He said no contract unless he's starting. So Tassiger it is. Um, I do kind of actually want to cut one more card here, though. I do wonder if I want to make this a little more controlling. I, I actually have some interesting options as far as that goes. You know, I got some fairly mediocre cards like this guy, Lightwalker. You know, I could cut that thing. I could even play like this Echoes card. I could cut one more, you know, cut an Artful Maneuver or an Ojitai's Breath or something like that. I've already got Will of the Naga. <clears throat> make the deck a little a little bit more like this. This deck is similar to our other one, but a little bit less, you know, punchy all-in style. My opinion on Echoes of the Kintry is that it's probably bad and it's probably decent in some situations, but ultimately it's quite slow. If the game stalled, it's going to wreck, though. I mean, I think that, like, just being able to dump three to six mana into it a turn to just make anything on your board consistently bigger and bigger and bigger is a pretty big deal like i think that that wins most stall outs over the course of the long game it's just very clunky and and if you're behind or whatever oh god don't even don't even talk to me tactician's fine yeah it's, it's not great it's fine though yeah, you're right, James. My cards do not beat down that hard, and that's why I kind of like looking at something like this a little a little more. Can actually defend fairly well. We have a couple of awkward cards, though, like Great Teacher's Decree feels like one I wouldn't want if I'm looking to block a lot. I'd want another creature, another card draw spell, another bomb, like a Mind Scour Dragon. Like, I can go 18 lands Mind Scour Dragon with this dragon and those are my top end and Tassiger probably gets cast here or realistically, you know, somewhere over in this end of the spectrum. Oh, he is really, he just doesn't want to be pushed around at all. I think Lightwalker's better than Dromica Warrior. I think that's not true. Even getting the counters on it, I wonder if it's better. Like, I just want to be able to block with my early creatures. It doesn't really matter what the counters go on late. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's, it's right in the middle. I don't have a lot of ways to get counters, though, do I? I've got the, this flyer guy and then th this thing that, like, for way later. It's not really that many. Yeah, it is a great finisher. Tips for a Pro Tour visitor. Bring your camera and bring a Sharpie. You're going to want a lot of cool autographs from the, from the great players at the PT. Also, don't be shy. They will, they will sign your stuff. Okay, so I want to make sure I get something submitted here because we're at a minute and I just don't want to cut it close. But let's uh, let's look at uh, our color breakdown here. Uh, fairly even just from a big picture perspective. I think the two sources for Tassiger is fine. We're looking to go long game anyway. Yeah, all right, let's run it. Let's see what this thing can do. 
And uh, I'm going to restart the stream real quick. I want to try to fix this thing, but I can't. Um, but I will...